Hello, Jeff Darrington, Senior Technical Market Manager at Greylock Air. Today, I wanted to do this quick demo to give an example of an input configured to connect to a Web API JSON path. This JSON path can be anything that you may be using it to capture logs or data sets or information from. For this example, I wanted to think outside of the box and show you an example how Greylog can be used to capture logs or data through an API and have it represented in a dashboard. JSON Web APIs have become very popular methods for getting access to data sets of structured information. This information can come from a variety of logs or specific information from databases or applications. For this instance, I wanted to find an external data source and I could show you it in a dashboard. So I found one. It's the Canadian COVID statistics. What I've done is created an input for the HTTP API and it's for the API for the Ontario COVID statistics link where you can download the Canadian statistics for COVID. I've managed to get the data in, and what I've done is created a parsing rule in a pipeline and structured the actual fields the way I needed to have the data represented. And then once the data has come in, I was able to create a dashboard. As you can see here, this dashboard includes the total cases, total recoveries, total fatalities and hospitalizations. And then on the bottom, you'll see two bar charts one representing the hospitalizations, fatalities, total cases, and recoveries in comparison. And on the right, total vaccines distributed, total vaccinations, total vaccinated, and total tests. This is just one data source that I was able to integrate into my Greylog logging data. There are many other types of data sources that you may need to ingest in Greylog. The HTTP API input is a very powerful tool and mechanism to get data into Greylog. I hope you enjoyed this quick demo. As always, happy logging with Greylog.